Look at me, I have thousands and thousands of dollars in photo equipment and video equipment and things like that. Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray, and today we're in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. This is a destination wedding. We just got in this hotel room, and I wanna basically break down this bag and my other bag with you guys. Kevin's here as well. He's over there working somewhere, but he'll- What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> we'll jump in in a sec here, but basically we just want to show you guys how we packed our gear and why we did it this way. It'll be a really quick video. It's just a quick breakdown just to show you how we packed it and, and the reason why. So let's start off with my main bag, which is my extra bag that uh, airlines usually give you. So it's always a carry on and an extra bag. This is considered the extra bag. This is a book bag, but it's literally a camera book bag. So. First things first, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. It's all mixed. It's compiled and packed together very nicely and safely. I have like different things to keep things, you know, soft and safe. And I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to run through the gear real quick. Uh, Pilot Cine, that's lighting, LED lighting. We have the 90 millimeter. It's in there. You'll see everything that comes out of this bag. Memory cards, 24 millimeter wide lens. First camera body. Second camera body, that camera was on. 50 millimeter. We got some chargers, some extra batteries. I'll just start leaving stuff in there. I got some, you know, stuff to just keep it all together, nice and compact. 70 to 200, come on, I cannot do a wedding without this lens. This is a must have. Um, this wasn't a necessity, but it is an external hard drive. Um, yeah, external hard drive. Okay. Um, in the pocket here, uh, just some wires, some gum, stuff that we need on the plane, um, ID, battery charger for the phone. That's pretty much in that there. Uh, let's see here. We got the gist of it there. In this other pocket, we have another set of chargers, some plantain chips from the plane. <laughs> uh, Flashpoint R2 Nano transmitter. This is, it comes ideal with the flash, which I'm gonna show you here in a few seconds. More batteries, battery charger, wallet and whatnot. This is like a, what's in my pocket, daily carry kind of video, but. Yeah, pretty much. What's in the book bag. Uh, R2 transmitter. Uh, this is the other Flashpoint transmitter, the older version. Uh, some gels, you guys know I like to get creative with my gel work. Magma gels. I had to point that out. Magma. That's all I trust when it comes to gels. Battery and some extra pieces for the Holdfast Money Maker, which is a camera strap holster I use to work weddings. Um, I like to shoot two cameras, dual cameras at all times, and definitely have some extras just in case I need them or Kevin needs them because he also has a, a camera harness as well. All right. In this other pocket, just some chargers and wires and SD card readers for my laptop. And just wires to charge the laptop and plug in the mouse and all of that. Last but not least in this bag, let me just secure this real quick. We have my laptop. And that's pretty much it for this bag real quick. Uh, let's get the other one here. All right, so before you guys start making fun of me on my channel, <laughs> comment <to> below. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna make fun of you they're gonna make fun of me too my dude. pink bag um so one of the main reasons was because i didn't find my other bag which was like a grayish purplish bag um it's more neutral um uh, that was the main reason why and i was in a rush yes i packed the last minute but i knew exactly what i was packing so i was kind of prepared um the second reason is not that i'm in a sketchy place i'm in a resort i'm safe everything is good it's all right i'll keep running um but basically, you have to remember that when you're traveling, you want to be low key. Hey, you don't want that things much. to stand out. You don't want to stand out. You don't want to make yourself seem like, hey, look at me. I have thousands and thousands of dollars in photo equipment and video equipment and things like that. You just definitely don't want to stand out. All right, my bad, guys. I had to come back. We had to take a little break. We had room service bring us a few cold ones. So this is Salute. the first time we have one here in DR. Yes, sir. That was good. pretty good. That's good. That's good. Mm. All right. So pass it, pass it over here. Yeah. We're going to continue with the video. So yeah. So like I was saying, I just don't like to stand out. 
um, especially when you're in a third world country or because, you know, from the airport to the resort, you have to go through a shuttle, taxi, bus, whatever modes of transportation um, you pick whenever you're going from place to place. You know, we did a pit stop. We got some food out on the street before we got to the resort because we wanted official food. We wanted real food from the area. So we had to stop. So, of course, you know, you, do, you already are attracting attention. People know you're tourists. You stick out like sore thumbs. I mean, I'm Dominican. For those of you who didn't know that, I'm Dominican and I still stick out like a sore thumb. So, yeah, for sure, you definitely want to not stand out. And that's another reason why I went with this. Um, and you know what? Before we break down what's in this bag, I want to point out a few things. So, there's not a right way to do this, but there's a better way to do this. And we didn't choose that way this time uh, for several reasons. But what I can say is this. When I travel officially to other, other, other destination weddings and events and conventions and things like that, um, I have a bag, a check bag that I put under the plane, much bigger than this. It carries all of my lighting equipment. It carries my clothes. If Kay is with us, then she has her clothes or she has her own bag. Um, and then it also carries light stands. So pretty much all of my lighting, any extra stuff, uh, extra gear that I need um, that, I, that I don't have in my main bag, and my clothes will be on my carry-on bag, which goes under the plane, it gets checked. I'm sorry, check bag under the plane and it gets checked. On my carry, what I have is a condition one case, number 300. It's a TSA approved bag or case. And in that case, I have all of my camera bodies, all of my lenses, memory cards, batteries, pretty much all of the efficient and important gear that I need to function and operate a photo shoot. In the event that something, something happens to my carry-on bag, I, I'm, I keep saying carry-on bag, in the case that anything happens to my check bag, I already have my carry-on with me and it is all I need to function. But yeah, so in a normal operation, you'll see me have a check bag under the plane, much bigger than this, professional. Um, I have a few different options at home, but today I decided to have this carry-on bag carrying most of my equipment along with some of my clothes. And then of course my extra bag, which was my book bag, carrying my lenses, my camera equipment and everything else. So let's get right to it. So as you can see, I got my uh, toiletries here, some utensils here that I use, toothbrush, stuff like that. It's a mess. Don't judge me. My packing is shit. I suck at this stuff. <laughs> Kevin over here is more, way more organized than I am. Uh, so yeah, I got some clothes here. <laughs> thumbs down, thumbs down. Um, don't put thumbs down on this video though. Thumbs up. Give me some thumbs up. Like the video. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, yeah, so this is my... Hold fast, money maker. This thing comes with me everywhere. If I'm not using this one, I'm using the Choreo, but this is definitely one of my favorites. The money maker by Hold Fast. This is what I'm going to use to carry my equipment with me on the day of. Some more lights. Shout out to Pilot Cine. Shout out to Kevin for putting me on to Pilot Cine. These are all amazing lights. They are really good. Really Love good. Them. Easy to transport. You saw that. <clears throat> look at everything we stuffed in this bag, literally. Um, they're going to look at my clothes, man. My That's our clothes. lighting for today, too. That is going to be our lighting. We're yeah. improvising. All right, clothes. I'm making a mess. <laughs> Just look, doing these. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got this here. This holds a light, and I'm using strobes. I made a video on this strobe specifically. Check it out. Tap right up here to watch that video. The Magmod XL, but this time I only brought out the dome or the Magboo, whatever you want to call it, extra large. Some 8200s by Flashpoint. I got two of them with me. Some more clothes, which I'm not gonna disclose. You know, all black, all black everything. Batteries. Come on, you gotta know what this is. Some more batteries. The Magmod, I, I don't remember the name. It'll be in the description. It'll be down in the description. But yeah, this, this thing here, which if you really wanna know, you take the mag magnet piece, you attach it to your flash or your 8200, and then that in turn gets attached here, and then you close it, and now you have two 8200s or one 8200 sticking out, and then you can put your softbox here, or you can put the Magbod dome, and yeah, it'll help you with your lighting, it'll soften the light for you, it'll diffuse it. All right guys, yeah, so the rest is closed, toiletries, that is all I have in this bag. I packed everything that we pretty much need in a minimalistic way in these two cases, this bag, my book bag. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comments. Leave me any questions if you guys wanna learn how to travel uh, for destination weddings. I'll probably make another video on this, but another thing I definitely wanna point out is 
when you're traveling, make sure to remove the battery from your units um, just in case they have to go through this bag. The last thing you want is for this to go through the security because it has a battery inside of it. Then it gets side swapped and it puts on the side for, for you know, further investigation. They open it and they forget to put it back and then you arrive and your bag is not there. So avoid that by just automatically leaving the batteries out so that way they don't check your bag. Hold on, not next yet, hold on. Oh, video's gonna steal oh, the video oh, now. Oh, it's, we ain't done yet, hold on. Time out, time out. Video's gonna make a little something. candle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it right here, I got it right here. Oh, you got it. <laughs> I you got it right here. So yeah, then let's put Ray's stuff away. And then give you just a little taste. We'll do a little rundown, give me a two minute timer. Two minute countdown. Two minute countdown, what video brings. So, we're working with photo and video. So this is a team thing and this is what I bring when it comes time for video. Let's see here, what do we got? So we got the MacBook Pro 2 M2 chip. So this is the baby where all the magic happens. We'll throw that here. See what we got in here. Got the 70 to 200 Mark II. This one, basically, I only use this for ceremony and toast. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got the two bodies over here. Sony uh, S3 and the R3 got batteries a lot of batteries we got monitor batteries we got our SD card case can go anywhere without that we have our second monitor this one is from newer I don't need anything fancy I just need it to look really nice and big what do we got in here we also have the sound mixer that connects to the DJ so we can get some backup audio we also have our mics so we have them on now but that's the rogue mic we use Let's see what we got here. This is a leg strap we use for our bride. And we'll mic her up. Don't forget the batteries for it. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, solid state drive. Need that Thumbs up to edit. That Thumbs up. <laughs> what do we got in here? So this is my little organizer. Look at this, guys. I'm all about organization. Look at this. I know you said you saw Ray's mess. This is horrible. But look at this. Everything is labeled. is nice. But basically, this is what we use here. And as you can see, this is my mic one and mic two. So they're color coordinated, Psh, knowing me. These are the mics over here. So as you can see, we got two blacks and we got a white one for our bride. Make sure she gets a mic as well. We got our hot shoots for our pilot Cena. So we got three here. See that there? We got one of these to charge our equipment if we need anything and cannot go anywhere without this right here. So this is a Leatherman without a knife. So this you will be able to fly on the plane with it. TSA approved. Yep, TSA approved. And the Easter egg is, this is actually by Peter McKinnon, but you also have, where you can bring an SD card in it. So in case you forget it, you have a backup there. See this, put that back inside. What else we got in here? Got a Rogue hot shoe. We got some cables in here. That way we wanna transfer any of the footage. Okay, see that? Put that back inside. I mean, that's pretty much it there. Oh, can't forget the controller. When you're on the plane, play some Zelda. <laughs> Ray, show that behind the scene of us, <laughs> of me playing there. Uh, you got our cable. So these are my Condor Blue. This is the Gerald Undone one. So we got that in there. We got the, this is my DJI filters for the drone. I'll pull that out now. We're done with this baby. Put that back inside. I do care about my equipment, okay? So don't worry about it. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, yeah. Not a quick rundown, huh? All right, so what do we got here? This is my harness. As you guys see, when me and Ray shoot together, I pretty much love this thing. Put this baby on like that, and that's where you see me all the time, where I strap my microphone, and the microphone's over here, and everybody gets the mic like Oprah. Can't go anywhere without the extension core so we need that i have my 24 to 70 this is sigma with the this is the uh what the hell the fuck is it called again the nd filter yeah the nd filter what the fuck is the company again oh prism lens so that's what i use is a prism lens that's what the company so if you guys want that link we will link it below this is the variable cinema nd filter number two so y'all can see it Ray will put the link below for you guys. See, here's the Palacina. So this is our main source of light. We have the Manfrotto tripod. 
So this one is the, I don't think they make this one anymore, but this is the 90. So we took off the head. For today, I'm just using the uh, photo tripod head because the video one is too big and it doesn't fit in here. We got our cables for the mixer, the sound mixer. And then we have pretty much our gimbal right here. So I, we'll piece it together. <laughs> and then on this side, what do we got? We got see, look at the close. Y'all gotta get a close up of that. You see that, Ray? See it? Look how nice that is. See that? Real nice. Getting... <laughs> look at that. And you got a toiletry. Look, Disney. My toiletry bag. You see that? There you go. Nice and organized. Got the drone over here. So the drone, I am using the Maverick uh, Mini 4 Pro with the RC3 and you got the battery and this is my main monitor which is from the Atomos Ninja Shinobi 5. This is my go-to. Love this thingy. Can't go anywhere without it. But that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys learned something. Ray will link everything here. Sorry for stealing the channel for a bit. No, so we'll awesome. bring it back. We'll bring Don Ramon back. So together combined, obviously face value, you know, brand new pricing. We can't really give you a specific number, but drop in the comments below how much you guys think all together, besides, you know, just the gear without the clothes, how much we have here together, all together. Just drop that in the comments and I'll include that at the end of, at the end of this video. I was going to say, can you guess which is the most expensive item, but don't put the camera body because everybody knows it's that yes. besides that. Besides the camera bodies also place in the comments, what device or what piece of equipment here you saw today that you believe is the most expensive piece of equipment. Or you would like to know more info about that equipment. So yeah, drop some comments as well. We, we welcome that. But yeah, this is us. We're at a destination wedding right now. We're about to get started. Go enjoy our time. Get set up. Get some footage with the drone. We even have a drone here, guys. It's just amazing <laughs> what we packed. So if you want to make fun of us in the comments because of my pink bag, because we literally... Or my Disney bag. The Disney bag. <laughs> we threw everything together in, the, in it. Just go ahead and do that. That's fine. But we're here. And we're going to enjoy our time here. And we're going to capture some great footage. And we're going to make people happy, right? Yep. Let's All do right, it, guys. Man. Thank you so much for watching. And catch us on the next one before we let you guys go. If you guys like the camera that I did to steal his channel for a bit, turn on a little bit of our video. Y'all let the man know. And maybe I'll make another you appearance. you guys want to make another video or another <laughs> I'm appearance. usually behind the camera, okay? You guys got a lot of work today. Research. You guys got a lot, a, lot of, a lot to do in the comment section today. So go ahead. Drop in the comments if you want to see Kevin in some more videos. Or you want him to drop some knowledge on video for you guys. Let us know. I hope you enjoy the next video that's about to pop up on the screen right now. Again, thanks for watching. Peace out, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Learn something new. Yeah, yeah.